can I do my own accounts in Xero? A question that many small business owners ask themselves. Now on one hand, you'll find the accountants saying that they are the zero gurus, they are the ones that need to do it all, keep away from zero, don't even think about doing your own accounts. Now I understand why accountants say this. They have had many a sleepless night dealing with accounts that have been handed to them and they're in a mess. On the other hand, you have the glitzy adverts that say, Sign up to Xero or some other accounting software, press a few buttons, do it from home while entertaining the kids at the same time, of course, and voila, your accounts are done. Being a bit of a veteran in the Xero world, having used Xero since 2012, I think I can answer the question. Based on my experience, surprise, surprise, the answer is somewhere in the middle. Yes, you have the accountant saying only we can do it. The other end of the scale, you have the business owners who make a big mess of it. But there is a small section in the middle where business owners can do really well doing their own accounts in zero. How do I know? Because I've dealt with many of them. So what does it take to be successful as a business owner doing your own accounts in zero? Well, it's a bit like me and my video editing. I've had three years experience of video editing. I've always done it by myself. And I think I'm a fairly competent video editor. So why have I been successful at video editing? And likewise, what does it take for you, the business owner, the non-accountant, to be successful doing your own accounts on zero? Well, in my experience, here's what I think it takes for it to work. Number one, you must have time. You must have time available regularly and dedicated to logging into Xero and doing your accounts. Number two, you must have a willingness to learn, to do your research and commit to learning something new. Number three, you must be interested. Does it appeal to you or is it something that's forced upon you? Do you think, oh, ugh, no, not the books. I've always had an interest in my video editing, so it's never been a problem. I've looked forward to doing it. Number four, you must be willing to accept a cost for doing this. It's not free. Even if we're talking about your time, what else could you be doing in your business if you're not doing your accounts? Also, the cost of zero plus any upgrades that you might need, any add-ons and any training courses that you might want to take to improve your skills. Number five, you need to be able to see beyond the numbers. What are the numbers telling you? The numbers tell a story. Use the numbers to move your business forward. It's not just the information that's in zero. What information can you get out? And number six, you need to know your limitations. Maybe for you, doing your day-to-day -day bookkeeping makes sense, but at a year end, you'll be handing it over to a qualified bookkeeper or accountant. So should you be willing to give it a go, then you will be in the minority if you're successful doing your own accounts. But the minority does exist. The people that are successful doing their accounts in zero are out there. I know because I've worked with many of them over the past nine years. And if you are in that league, if you are that business owner who's one of the happy zeroers that are out there, then the resources that I have are 100% geared for you. So if you choose to do your own accounts, don't decide to do it lightly. Think about what the requirements are and make sure that you're committed before you give it a go. If it's not for you, find a qualified bookkeeper or accountant, hopefully somebody that's recommended and hand it over to them. That's what my suggestions are when answering the question, can you do your own accounts in zero? Clearly, it's not just about zero. Other software, it would be the same answer.
I hope the video has maybe answered some questions that you have. If you have any further questions, please put them below and I'll do my best to respond. If you liked the video, a thumbs up would be great. And until next time, here's hoping, happy zeroing. <laughs>